Hello and welcome to this latest video in the Tableau for Sports series. This time we're going to look at custom pitch zones. So this very much follows the previous video I did. So I'd recommend you, you kind of watch that one first or certainly after, after this one to get an idea of how to pull this all together. But um, a really nice tool that I've come across to help you come up with your own, your own zones. Uh, so let's have a look where we left off the last video. So I showed how we could kind of create these pitch zones. So we could divide the pitch into, into squares, for example, and look at the past success of a team or individual players across, across those pitch zones. And in order to do that, we had to create uh, this kind of zone template file. So you see, for example, each shape has, because they're squares or rectangles, has four points, and we've given it the, the X, Y coordinate, okay? Now you have to generate that file manually, so you have to go through and kind of decide what your, what your zones would be. But I've actually found a, a tool uh, that would help with this and also create kind of odd shapes, or if you work in other sports like cricket, you know, where it's not easy to divide things into rectangles and stuff like that, um, this will work really well. So let me jump over to it. So it's developed by somebody called Dave Hart. And I'm going to give you a quick look at how this works. OK, so there's some instructions here on the right. And also you can buy Dave a coffee if you really like this. I would recommend you do because I think this is really cool. Uh, so the first thing to do here is to upload an image. So I'm going to pick my football pitch. But I've been messing around. I tried this with some cricket pitches uh, here earlier on. So you see it can work quite well for odd shapes and that kind of thing. In the drawing section here then you can turn on grid lines and snap to grid and different things uh, which can help you draw perfectly what you want. And ultimately just to reiterate what we're trying to get back to is to create a, a file that's like this and then for each shape it gives us the x and y points uh, for that. Okay so if we take a look here uh, for example, suppose I have like some sort of midfield zone that I want to look at. You've an option here. We want to make polygons. So this icon here. And then we're just going to create four points. So suppose I want something like this. As my shape, that becomes a polygon shape that I have here. And if I click over on the data tab. Uh, and this one here we can see that we've got our one, two, three, four points. Okay, now there might be, you might have to readjust some of these, these X and Y's, but it will give you the, the kind of overall coordinates of this, which is really, really useful. So, you know, I can create any kind of shape that I want. So if you imagine, you know, you're looking at this as a, a zone, again, you can go and create it. You get something wrong, it's quite easy to pick up and, you know, move the points. And if you've got the grid lines on, it's quite easy to see. So this is, I, I think, really, really nice way to be able to just create these kind of custom uh, zones that you might want. You can then come in here and download the data. So download the CSV. And let's just open on my other machine. OK, so you can see here very much like the zone template we made in the previous version. You've got a shape ID a shape label, which I'll show you, you can put in the points and then the X and Y. OK, so let me just show you um, quickly how you would add that in. As I said, the previous video will give you the, the, the details of how to pull it all together. But just to quickly show you how this works. So I'm going to go and grab. And then in here, what we can do is put our X and our Y put our shape ID onto detail, put our, change these to polygon and put our point ID on the path. And then I can add in my pitch as a background. But you can see there, there's my shape one, shape two, shape three. Okay, so I think that's really, really useful for multiple sports as well as just creating your own kind of unique zones. I'll do a full video on, on how to pull that all together, but um, as a first step, I think that's, that's really good. So buy Dave a coffee if you find this useful. Thank you very much.